We just had the craziest day ever, but I need to go to bed, so I'm going to explain it to you guys in the morning, but we literally had the craziest, kind of scariest day ever, but... Good morning, guys! We're currently packing and charging because today we are off on a big, long drive to Victoria Falls. Where are we now, Steve? What's the city called? Weru. Weru. And then we're going to Victoria Falls. Actually, I haven't even looked at a map, so I don't even know where we're going or where we are at the moment. But I know it's like, what, an eight hour drive or something today? We it's going to be a long bus in drive. An hour, which is, it's currently 8.30, and we will get in there at 8.30. Oh, so it's a long day. I'm pretty sure there's stopovers and stuff like that, but it's a public bus that takes us over there. But I'm so excited Victoria Falls is on the top of my list. I really hope we have a chance to go to Devil's Pool. It depends on what, like, the itinerary is, because we only have three days there. So it's going to be very, very quick. Um, but hopefully we can go and check that out. Insert photos so people can know what Devil's Pool is. Yeah. I really, really want to go do that. I'm going to quickly pack and then jump on this bus and I'm really, really hoping that there's aircon. Bubs, I'm kind of a bit upset we never explored what was beyond... It'll just that. always be unknown. The little bridge. It's like lost. So many mysteries unsolved, we'll never know what's beyond that bridge. I know our breakfast probably looks super boring with like a full hot buffet over there. These guys make oats like your grandparents would make oats. They're just... I'm obsessed. So good. Alrighty guys, our first lift is here. This is the uh, the only vehicle they had, so it's gonna have to do. It's fine, not like I've ridden in the back of a truck before. <laughs> Just gotta make sure these bad boys don't go anywhere. So we just come to the side of the road and we're pretty much just waiting for the public bus to come past. It is coming from Harare, which is about four hours, but if you just see just here, they really like us filming them. There's a police stop and there's a lot of police stops along the way and they like to target buses and trucks, which means leaving four hours ago from Harare doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to get here four hours later. So we arrived here about 35 minutes ago and the bus was due 20 minutes ago, so we'll see how long it takes for our bus to come. <laughs> What's the time? 10.35. <laughs> <laughs> Buses finally come. Yay! We've literally just stopped in Bulawayo about two hours back out because Bulawayo is such a main city that there's only so many roads and we have to go back into Bulawayo to then go into Big Falls. And there's literally just this as a truck stop for some food. I think we've got some bread and a banana. That is it. Experience and a half. It is now eight. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh my gosh, we 
have got beds. We just had the craziest day ever, but I need to go to bed, so I'm gonna explain it to you guys in the morning, but we literally had the craziest, kind of scariest day ever. But are you ready? Okay, bed. Let's go to bed. We'll talk to you guys in the morning. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, coffee. Very much needed. Yes. After yesterday. What happened yesterday? <laughs> so we were in Gweru and we wanted to get to Vic Falls. And you can catch a plane, but it's like $200. So really expensive. So we decided to jump on a bus, which was only $18. But we didn't realize that there are some good buses and some not so good buses. And we ended up getting onto the not so good bus. So we were on a very local bus. It was like sardines. So there was two seats, but three people would be on each seat. The whole bus was full. We would like get to bus stops and people were like fighting outside. Oh, literally, guys. Literally. I'm sorry we didn't film it, but there were times when we I didn't was like, feel comfortable. I was like, don't take the cameras out. It was such a scary ride. So imagine being on that bus for nine hours, being too scared to go outside and go to the toilet. So I didn't go to the toilet. We didn't eat really anything. And I can't believe we even made it in time. When we got here to Vic Falls, it was like dark. We got to the bus stop. It was so crazy busy. I was like, is the person that was meant to be picking us up even know we're here? Because we were like two hours late. And we had literally a local bus stop with like eight buses and like, you know, a hundred people just walking around. I know, but luckily the guy saw us and people us up and it was all fine. Well, we kind of stood was, out. We were yeah, literally... we did stand out, but it was really, really scary. But anyway, we're safe, sound. We've just come into Big Falls. If you're interested, it's 30 US dollars each to get in. Because it's a national park. It's a national park, which I didn't expect to pay to get in, so that's a little... Maybe because we're comparing it to Niagara Falls, which yeah. you just walk around. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah. No, so, Niagara yeah, Falls So yeah, it was $30 can. to get in if you're interested. We're now having a coffee and now we're going to go and check out the falls because I guess... You can't go to Vic Falls without seeing Victoria Falls. Okay guys, there's like two routes you can do, like a short one to the left and a long one to the right, but we wanted to quickly come to the short one so we can get a quick view of the falls. Our first time seeing Ooh. it. I think it's so big that there's like so many different viewpoints. But oh, down I can here, hear I can... it. Oh, Ooh, there's a little... Little teaser. This is called the Devil's, the Devil's Cataract. Oh, wow. There's one of the viewpoints, guys. So much force coming down. <laughs> this is the end of Wow. I think we found a better view. That's so beautiful. You guys see here, there's like a falls coming here and the mist is like being shot up, which is so interesting. And then it comes and like rains on us. But otherwise, Vic Falls is like, it's so interesting. There's a bit of a, a snake, would you call it, Jess? I'm pretty sure it goes really far down. That's why we're gonna now walk around and go right down here to have a look at what it looks like. It's beautiful. The center of the UK. It's the highest rate of radiation. Guys, it is like so humid here. I think because we're so close to the water, this is like the hottest day, I think, of this entire Africa trip. I apologize for this big sweaty mess. Literally in like half an hour, I bet you I'm gonna be even more drenched. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Enjoy your day. How are you? Good, how are you? Yes, welcome to Zimbabwe. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your day. We are now at the main section of the fall. Ah, so beautiful. Above there's a rainbow. Oh. Ah. That's so cool. It's so nice how we're in just like a rainforest at the moment. Probably the gardener has to do zero work because there's so much water coming. Wow. I haven't seen something so naturally beautiful before. If you guys have been to Victoria Falls, tell us below because you need to come here. It's amazing. One thing I wish we could have done, but we just didn't have time to book one, is to go to Devil's Pool, which I think is right here. We were so close, but it's literally another country. Like, that's Zambia, we're in Zimbabwe. It's like a hundred US to go swim at Devil's Pool. A bit expensive. I still would have done it, but it was sold out like weeks ago. 
Oh well, another reason to return here. So close, but so another country. That's definitely Devil's Pool. Look how close to the edge they are. <laughs> guys, I hope you enjoyed that visit to Vic Falls. I highly suggest you guys come here. It's like one of the seventh natural wonders of the world. But if you enjoyed that video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you are new around here, please hit subscribe. We try to do a lot of fun stuff. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Night! Bye. Oh, night! Bye! <laughs> <laughs>